10 most insane houses you won't believe exist. Due to the coronavirus lockdown, we know more than ever the importance of having a home that has a style and decor we enjoy to look at. Well, as we will show you in today's video, there are those who have taken the customization of their homes to the next level, giving them fascinating and bizarre appearances. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way, you will never miss a future video. Number 10. Haynes Shoe House You may have heard the nursery rhyme about the old woman who lived in a shoe. Though the concept seems pretty absurd, in 1948, a flamboyant shoe salesman called Malon Haynes decided to build a house that looked just like a work boot to act as a form of advertisement. The house is 25 feet tall and contains five stories. It was once rented to couples for short stays before becoming a tourist attraction that offers public tours. The living room is located in the toe of the shoe, kitchen in the heel. The two bedrooms are in the ankle and the ice cream shop is in the instep. Despite having the shoe house built, the owner never spent a night inside of it. When Malon Haynes died in 1962, the house was left to his employees, who sold it two years later to a dentist. After years of tours, the house began to fall into despair and was bought by Haynes' granddaughter who renovated it back to its original state. Just goes to show that even old boots can shine again with the right polish. Number 9. Nautilus House Located near Mexico City in Mexico is a whimsical shell-shaped house. It was designed by Javier Sansonia, who not only resembled the shell of a nautilus cephalopod, but to be a bio-friendly structure. The house was built with fluorescent and has a frame of steel-enforced chicken wire coated in thin concrete. Though those materials may not sound sturdy, it is actually earthquake-proof. To gain entrance to the house, you can climb a staircase that takes you through its circular stained glass windows. It is carpeted throughout with grass mats and has a bathroom modeled on the ocean. Number 8. Upside Down House Appearing like it was dropped from the sky, the Upside Down House in Simburg, Poland was designed by businessman and philanthropist Daniel Szapajski. It was designed to be a piece of art that represented the communist era of Poland during the time where the country had been turned upside down. The house was completed in 2007 and took five times longer to build than a conventional home because the workers would get disorientated during construction. To get inside the house, visitors enter through the roof and walk along the ceilings. Number 7. The Stone House The next house looks like it belongs in the Flintstones. It uses four huge boulders for its foundation, walls, and ceiling with brickwork filling the gaps in between. The house is called Casa de Panudo and is located between Selecrico de Basto and Fafe in northern Portugal. Its construction was started in 1972 and took two years to finish. The original purpose of the house was to act as a holiday home, but due to its lack of electricity and modern commodities, it became a museum of relics and photographs displaying the building's history. Number 6. Naked Home not many people would choose a house with no privacy, but that was the exact requirements when Japanese architect Shinguru Ban built the naked house. The building was completed in the year 2000 and is found in Kwango, Japan. It was built for a family of five with the mother of the household expressing that all activities should be done in a shared environment. The external walls are made of two sheets of corrugated fiber reinforced plastics. The inner walls are made of nylon fabric mounted onto studded wooden frames. An interesting function of this very open house is the four movable room containers that can be positioned to change the layout of the space. Number 5. Airplane Home Many of us board planes to get away from our homes, but just outside of Portland, Oregon, you will find a Boeing 727 that has been transformed into a home that is going nowhere. The current owner, Bruce Campbell, has lived in the airplane six months out of the year since he purchased it in 1999. The Boeing has 1,066 square feet of space, as well as running water, electricity, and a sewage system. Everyone likes a house with history, and this one certainly has. Before retirement, the plane notoriously flew Aristotle Onassis' body home to Greece to be buried, with Jackie Onassis and the rest of the family flying in the main cabin. The house is full of trick doors, trick floors, hatches, latches, and a whole array of gleaming titanium details 
that were once part of the aircraft. Number four, car house. The prospect of sleeping in a car might not be very appealing. That is, until you see the crazy car house that was designed by Marcus Vogelreiter. He wanted to build a fun and unique house for his wife and children. That was not conventional or boring. The project was finished in 2003 and cost $1.6 million to complete. The Volkswagen Beetle house was originally a suburban 70s style house before the oversized vehicle details were added. It utilizes energy saving systems such as energy efficient lighting, heating, and advanced insulation techniques. Since completing the house in Salzburg, Austria, Vogel Reiter has gone on to use the design to build a themed restaurant that is appropriately named the car. Luckily, the wheels are only for aesthetics, so the car is not likely to roll away anytime soon. Number three, tunnel home. What appears to be a black hole tearing a house apart is actually the work of two artists named Dan Havel and Dean Ruck. The two bungalows in Houston, Texas were their first project and was completed in 2005. The spiraling vortex of wood and debris not only looks cool, but also acts as a hallway to connect the two buildings together. The aptly named Inversion took 400 hours to complete and was supposed to be a temporary exhibit but remained a focal point of the town for six months. Remarkably, the two artists lacked a budget, meaning everything they used came from the structures they were working on. By the end of 2005, the tunnel house was demolished so the new buildings could be constructed. This was met with anger and sadness as the residents of Houston had become attached to the strange optical illusion houses. Since the bungalows, the duo have gone on to transform other properties set for redevelopment into exploding structures built from the wood of the original buildings. Number two, Spaceship House. If the Spaceship House had been around in the 80s, maybe E.T. would have had to travel across the universe to get home. Resting in the French countryside is a small cottage that looks like a spaceship that didn't have a smooth landing. The Eco House was built by cabinet maker Eric Wasser and was strategically developed to provide shade in the summer months but receive as much sunlight as possible in the winter months. Sadly, the appearance of the house has come under scrutiny in the area for not resembling the surrounding quaint French cottages. But you do have to admit, it does look out of this world. Number one, River House. Having neighbors can be an inconvenience, especially if they're disruptive and noisy. Well, this is one house that definitely won't have that problem. Built in the middle of the Drina River in Western Serbia, a small house balances on a rock. The house was built by a group of swimmers in 1968 who wanted a shelter that they could go to while spending time together. Since it was built, the river house has been destroyed seven times by rising waters, but was rebuilt every time. Now that's dedication to get a little peace and quiet. And that concludes our list of insane houses that must be seen to be believed. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like to show your support. If you'd like to see more videos like this one and don't want to miss a future upload, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thank you for watching.